Hey, welcome everyone in this new video tutorial about the multiplayer combat editor. In this video I wanted to talk a bit about how you can use the managers, whether it be uh, skills, stats, uh, action or combat manager and how you can communicate with them wherever you, ha you are in your blueprints. So basically how you can reference and use all the value and you, the data you provide when you set up your managers. So all the stuff we say in our third person character, we created a bunch of things like uh, actions and stats and we gave skills to our character and all, all, that, all that stuff. Uh, okay, that's, that's fine, but how do I... Uh, increase the health of my character, how do I modify the strengths, uh, the, the armor, how do I restore mana, and stuff like that. How do I, how do I communicate with all these managers? Uh, that's, that's pretty easy and that's why you have an interface, uh, not an interface, but several interfaces. That's why you have all of this and especially the find action manager, find skill manager, combat and stat manager. And for example, we are going to create a simple uh, pickup. Let's call that BP pickup. Let's create that. Let's add a static mesh. And it's going to float above the ground. And we want a sphere. Uh, we want, we want, uh, I don't know, what do we want? We want something like a ball. Maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.2, we want that to be like this. And we want to add a box, a sphere collision. And this is going to be like 50, 100. Okay, so that's quite quite big actually. If I put that in here, okay, no, that's fine. That's what I want. That's a sphere. And when someone overlaps, you could say cast to the other actor into my character and grab the stat manager uh, not set get a uh, fine stat manager you could be doing something like this but you actually don't want to do that uh, you actually don't need to cast. You can just say any actor you want, find stat manager, and you have the stat manager of the actor if he has one. And if you set up the find stat manager function properly by returning the stat manager in there. And then you can, for instance, restore stats, restore else by, I don't know, 20, for instance. And if we say we have a bunch of pickups, and if then we actually hit the other character, he's going to have to gain health back. So you can see he's gaining health back, but we didn't set it up properly. We have to remove the collisions on the mesh. And we, we have to specify that this is a trigger, for instance. We will make that a little bigger. And we'll say when someone overlaps, we are going to destroy the actor. And I think it's going to bug on the client, even if it's not supposed to bug. Yep, it's going to bug. They are supposed to be destroyed, but they are not. Despite the fact they are not replicated actor, so we are going to say to to say something like only the server destroyed the pickups like this. So it's restoring else if only if he has less health than the maximum. Like that. So it's not going to be removed there, but if I'm dealing damage to the other guy, then it's going to be removed and I'm going to restore my health. But you could be accessing uh, any other any other manager 
You could be building a trap that says when you overlap with me, you actually receive damage. But for that, you will need uh, you will need a combat manager. So this will need a combat manager to be able to deal damage properly. Owner is asking for a combat manager, and I'm not sure if you can if you can spec if you can deal damage without a combat manager. I'm not sure anymore. Uh, I forgot exactly what's going on. What, what is the exact chain of events when you receive damage? I think it should not. It might not work. Well, actually, we have nothing to lose there. We can just say it hey, deals 10 damage to yourself, to you when you when you step over it, and you're going to destroy the actor like that. And we are. We are we are receive, we are taking damage and we do not have any errors. So I think I think I set it up. I already set up set it up in a way that allows us to do that. So we take damage when we step it on. So this is a this is getting the you, you can find any manager from as long as you have a reference to an actor. You can try to find its manager. And if it does not have a manager, you can you can just verify if it has the manager you are looking for by binding the is valid event the node to the finder you you are using. So this is how you can quickly and efficiently always uh, find the results you want, find the values you want when you are inside. Uh, I don't know a modifier, a status, a skill, etc. And you are looking for an information, and you do not know know how to get it. Often, oftentimes, you can just grab the actor, uh, which is interesting to you, and try to find the manager on him. So this is this was uh, a video I wanted to make because uh, I wasn't clear. It wasn't f uh, necessarily clear how you are supposed to use the interfaces and the find manager. And I am actually finding myself using them a lot. Because you oftentimes want to grab the information, and if you find yourself calling them uh, over and over and over on the same actor, you might want to store them into variables. Because uh, calling inter uh, making interface call like find uh, the, the finders are are called interfaces call calls, and they cost uh, more uh, performance, more CPU than a regular function call. So you might, if you find yourself calling them over and over, you will have to store the stat manager when you call find stat manager. If you are calling this all the time on the same actor, you will want to store that to a variable and use that that variable to reference the stat manager. So that's it for that video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.